yesterday you met up with a friend of yours who let you borrow his Lamborghini. How was that to drive? It was terrifying because like this car had like an MSRP of like 450 grand. And I just was terrified about crashing it. Like I did not want to do anything where like someone hits me or like I, I don't know. So anytime I drive someone else's car, I'm just I'm super anxious and scared. If it were my own, I would be like, eh. It was a blast though. I mean, I couldn't believe how loud this thing was. And it, it's so much different than because I have a Lotus Exige and it's just a totally different car. I mean, this car is so powerful, but it's so heavy compared to the Lotus, which is just it's not as powerful, but it's so light and agile. So it's just two entirely different cars. It was a blast to drive, though. What was your What was your very first job? Oh yeah, my first job. I really started when I was like twelve or thirteen years old, and at the time I was really into reef tanks and reef aquariums. And I would go to these. No joke. We had reef aquarium meetups. We called it frag swaps because we trade fragments of each other's coral. And I would go to these frag swaps and I would like you'd pick off these little pieces of coral and we'd like sell and trade them. And I met this guy um, who had this this company. And I was I, I loved this this company that he had because he would sponsor a lot on reefcentral.com, which is the forum that I would go on to like talk to everyone else with reef tanks and stuff like that. And I was really into photography and I would take pictures of the coral and this and that and post them online. And I asked if I can go and see his store. Because he had like this wholesale thing and I was really into it. And he said yes. And then I started taking pictures when I was there and posting them up online for people to see. And he was really impressed by that. And then he told me I can go if I wanted to after school and take pictures of his coral, Photoshop it. And that, at, you know, in the very beginning, he's like, and I'll give you some free coral in exchange for you doing this for me. And I loved it. I think he just wanted to give a kid a chance of, you know, just like seeing how excited I was and how into it. And, but it was from that that I just loved that. And my, I, my mom would drive me. I think it was like every Tuesday after school, I'd go in once a week. And then it became twice a week. And then I was 16, I got my driver's license. And then I would just skip school and go work instead. And I loved it. Like during the summer, my mom would basically drop me off in the morning, pick me up at like six or seven. And that was my whole day. And I loved it. And as I got older, he started paying me. It was a dollar for every picture at Photoshop and help put on the website. And I can Photoshop like maybe take 20 to 35 an hour. And that was like 20 to $35 an hour that I could make. And when you're like 16 years old, 15 years old, that's a ton of money. And that just changed me in terms of why would I go waste my time doing something when I could just go and make 20 to $35 an hour. And that's when I started realizing that this math class is costing me 30 bucks an hour. This lunchtime that I'm not even hungry, that I don't even want to take a lunchtime at school, I could be doing this instead. It's going to cost me 20 bucks. So like everything I then viewed as this is me earning 20 to $35 an hour. Would see a lot of things just in a different perspective after that. Yes, it's so important to work f smartly and really to use your time as efficiently as possible. And then also do things that can scale where you don't need to physically be present. And that's, and that's the next big thing is to really do like rental property is something that I don't need to be actively working on in order to make money from it. So I think doing things like that. Congratulations on making it to the end of this episode. What about this episode stood out to you? Next, I need your help sharing this show. I want this podcast to impact and reach 6,000 people per episode by August 31st, 2019. And I want us to reach 15,000 people per month by March 29th, 2020. Have you been enjoying multiple episodes of the Heart Healthy Hustle? I'm thrilled to share with you an exclusive invitation to join our new Facebook community. To get to know other Heart Healthy Hustlers, simply go to thehearthealthyhustle.com forward slash Facebook, where you can expect to see different members of our community being featured weekly in Facebook Live calls. I appreciate all of your love and support, and I will see you in the next episode. As always, be generous on every occasion. There is a story for you, and live wide open.